Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan video. Today I want to talk about what it's like buying Bakugan in 2021. Uh, specifically the old Bakugan, so the legacy, so the type I was used to growing up with when I was like 8, 9, 10 years old. So recently I've had a lot of people ask me where I bought the Bakugan in my videos and I've also been getting a lot of like side questions uh, from other places just about like pricing and all this. Like I've had a lot of people ask me stuff and it's weird because I've only been collecting since January and as of filming this it's June. So I haven't been in like the business very long um, but I have all these questions. So I want to try and answer them in a video. So I want to cover three topics. First is research, second is where to buy, and then the last and most important one is pricing. So we're going to get into those, do a deep dive, and hopefully you guys can kind of understand my process and the logic behind all of this. So let's start with research. So the first thing you're going to want to do is research the Bakugan that you want to buy. So I picked um, Knight Percival as my example. Um, so the easiest thing you can do, and if you want to see what Knight Percival looks like, I do have him. Um, I can show you guys really quick. I don't know if it'll focus, my autofocus ain't on. <laughs> but uh, here he is. So this is a Knight Percival. I do have him, um, anime accurate colors. And I'm kind of going to like showcase all those throughout the, uh, the video <clears throat> that I talk about. Um, so the Bakugan I chose to do my research on is Knight Percival. So let's say you want a Knight Percival. Where do you start? How do you figure out what a Knight Percival is? How rare they are? Where they came from? How many exist? All that stuff. And this goes for any Bakugan. Any Bakugan you can think of. Um, so I just chose Knight Percival because I think it's a good example. So what you're going to want to do is go to Google, type in Bakugan Knight Percival Wiki or Bakugan Skyris Wiki, Bakugan Tuscore Wiki, anything. So you just want to get to the Wikipedia page. And uh, from here, you have a couple different options. So you can see the gallery, um, the Wikipedia, and then the fandom. So there's Percival, Knight Percival specifically, and then the Knight Percival Gallery. So these are like the three big ones you're going to want to take a look at. So this Percival is the, like the original. Um, but for my instance, I'm specifically picking Knight Percival. So I want to uh, click on Knight Percival. So now we're at the Wikipedia page, and this has pretty much everything you could ever ask for. I mean, it's got quotes. You can go to the image gallery from here, which I will take a look at here in a little bit. Um, information, description, what he's like in the show, what show he's in, and the physical game and trivia. The main thing you're going to want to take a look at is physical game. This is what he's going to appear like in like an actual toy form, because in the show, he's a little different. In the show, he doesn't have all this silver on him. So you need to be like aware of that. It's like some Bakugan in the show look different from their toy form. Example, Infinity Dragonoid, completely different ball form than what it is in the show. So let's go ahead and click on physical game. And it comes up right here and it tells us Knight Percival is released in Japan in Darkest, Subterra, Pyrus, and Aquos. It spins like Percival Vortex. So from right there, we can already tell that Knight Percival was only released in Japan. It never came to America. So that already automatically makes it a bit more difficult to get as I'm living in America and they don't sell that here. So it's gonna have to be given to me internationally or sold from someone who bought it internationally or sold directly from Japan itself. So that already makes this Bakugan harder to get. Um, and then we can see in Japan, the Pyrus version comes in BST-10. So BST stands for Bakugan Starter Pack, basically. Um, and then like it just imagine like a pack of Bakugan like the um, like plastic bubble they come in That's basically what this is saying So the name of that like the code label for that bubble that like, like packaging would be BST-10 So let's say specifically I want a Darkest Knight Percival like the one right here Okay, so we're gonna go to it, it says the darkest version is in the BBT-04 and comes with 420 Gs, right? Okay, so they also take note, there's a translucent darkest version, which I've actually been looking for for a really long time and can't find. Um, it's very elusive and very hard to come by. Um, so uh, we know that a darkest version comes in BBT-04. Uh, All right, so now we know we confirm that there is a darkest version of this Bakugan because some Bakugan aren't made in all attributes, so we need to double check that. So if you're collecting anime accurate, this is great because now we know that there is an actual darkest version. Um, so then once we know that it exists and we know where it came from, so we know it came from Japan and we know it's no longer being made because 
all the legacy Bakugan, so um, Battle Brawlers, New Vestroya, Gundalian Invaders, and Mechanium Surge are no longer being made because of the reboot. So they're all put to the side. So now that we know it exists, we know kind of where it came, came from. And then again, you can research any Bakugan and it'll tell you. Uh, we can go to the image gallery. Here on the image gallery, you're going to see a ton of different pictures. So most of them from the show, most of them from like training cards and then the toys. Um, so here we can see Percival in like his regular form. So if you see here, notice he has no silver on him. Like in this toy, he has silver feet and silver wings, but in the show he does not. So that's the difference between the toy and the show. And that's very important to learn. And that's why you do your research because you could be searching online and find one that's like that and pure black. And that may mean it's been custom painted or it's a fake. So you need to be careful. Um, and so now if we scroll down, you can find game. And that will show all the different versions of Knight Percival in toy form. So we see um, here is the Darkest Knight closed Percival. And then the open one. So two there. And there's also a translucent. And there's just various pictures. So this is where if you're looking online and you see a bunch of pictures and you don't know which one is right or which one you want. This is the way to go and like triple check to make sure you know what's right. And I'm not saying the wiki is super accurate, but I would say for the most part, they kind of know what they're talking about because this and this look like what I have. And I would hope that this is the um, legit Bakugan. <laughs> um, so uh, basically this is what you would want to be looking for if you were looking for a Darkest Night Percival. Awesome. So now we know what we're looking for. We've done some research on it. And again, you can read this whole wiki if you want. Um, I mean, you can go through trivia and all this stuff. It tells you everything. I think it even has like appearances of them like laid out in some cases. It's it's very in-depth and super useful. So let's do another Bakugan. Let's talk about Nemes. So we can go to the Nemes wiki. So Bakugan, Nemes, Wikipedia. And we see this, right? So we see this like small ball. It's kind of hard to see. I'll zoom in on it. We see the small ball form. That's not what we see in the show. Hmm. So why is that? Normally we should be seeing something a lot taller because that's what appears in the show in New Vistroia. So right off the bat, if we're trying to collect that, I would be pretty thrown off because I'm unfamiliar with what the heck this little tiny guy is. So if we scroll down to physical game right here, we can see that Nemesis is the pre-evolved form of Baron's Guardian Bakugan. He has already evolved into Mega Nemesis by the time Bakugan New Vistroia has begun. So... We wouldn't have known that. It doesn't say in the show. So now we know we need to go to Mega Nemesis. And so now if we go to the image gallery here, we can see that this should be starting to look a little more familiar. So we've got all these different like tall boys basically. Um, and so one thing I want to point out when I was doing research is if you go back to the physical game for Mega Nemesis. So I was looking for a translucent version of Mega Nemesis for my specific collection. If you go to physical uh, game, it'll say here in Japan, the Subterra version comes with 500 Gs. The Chaos version comes with these. And then the Pyrus version comes with these. And there's a Baku Frost and Ventus version, right? There's no transparent. They never made it. So we go here. We can go to the image gallery to triple check. What would one even look like if they made it? And um, here you see that they never made it. And the closest thing there is is a like Baku Frost, I guess, like a clear version, which is what I have here. Cause that's as close as you're going to get to a translucent. Cause they never made a translucent. There is no like gray translucent chaos meganimus. There's only the clear. So that's just another thing you can do It's always check with research. Like it is so important to check to make sure you know what you're buying. So now we can talk about where to buy. And you can buy from a lot of different places. I go to eBay, that's where I started, and that's where I got most of my collection. Um, there are various sites like eBay, and then I also got a couple of my international buys from various Discord servers. And um, basically, the harder you look for a Bakugan, the more sketchy it's gonna get. Um, so like, I started looking for a, like a Pyrus translucent cross dragonoid right here, and there were none on eBay at the time. So I went to a Discord server where I found a seller from Mexico who sold it to me. It took it a month to get here. I spent a lot of money and all for I could have possibly never gotten it. So that's why you need to be careful. The reason I say eBay is the safest is because pictures are shown and then you also have eBay's money back guarantee, meaning that if you don't get the product you asked for or it's broken, most of the time eBay can step in, make the seller accept a return or give you money back. 
Um, and a lot of different selling sites do this, but it's important to protect yourself and the money you're spending. Another thing I wanna take note of is throughout my time, I've seen a lot of people telling me, well, don't ever buy from eBay, it's so overpriced. Um, you know, you know, like they, they always say like, well, why don't you buy from this site, this site, and this site? And most of the time what they send me are these foreign websites. Basically they're like sites in Japan that you can buy from. And so I've gone on to them and looked at them. And most of the time they're not in my language. They're not in English and they're in Japan where I can't read it. And they're also in a different currency. So you have all these people saying, well, you can get all these Japanese exclusive Bakugan for a really cheap price most of the time on these websites. But you also gotta consider, number one, you don't know what you're buying essentially because you can't read it. Even with Google Translate, sometimes things still are very unclear and you have to talk about shipping. You know, you may find a Japanese exclusive Knight Percival for like $20 on this Japanese website, but you gotta think about shipping. You have to ship internationally, which could be another 20 or $30. And if they give it to you, like shipping for free, it's going to take forever to get here because shipping across countries is not, it's not, it's, it's very expensive. So, and you also have to talk about wait time. You could be waiting a month, two months, three months to get this item that you spent, you know, m actual money on. Um, like, for, like this, I spent, I waited over a month to get this. And I didn't know if it was gonna actually come in or not. I didn't know if it would get stalled by customs or taken by someone in the mail service. I've heard lots of rumors that like the mail service can be very sketchy, especially when you're traveling very long distances with a package. So you've got to think about that. Like, do you want to go and shop on a website that you don't understand its native language and you don't exactly know when it's gonna get here? It's a lot of very like sketchy stuff going on there i think i'd rather play it safe and spend a little bit extra money to guarantee i get an item in a relatively fast amount of time whereas i could spend less money but not guarantee an item's condition where it's at i don't have any tracking information on it there's all kinds of things i think you guys get my point so now let's talk about pricing so now i'm over on ebay and i want to talk about pricing so as you can see here we have a pretty consistent number with a darkest night percival right so 69.95 70 dollars you know 62 plus shipping 70 dollars 69.95 plus some shipping you know basically what, what we can get here from just these three is that night percival on average costs about seven dollars 70 dollars so let's scroll down right these two together on 12 bids 71 dollars an aquas one for 60 plus 415 in shipping okay i think you guys are starting to get my point even this one shipping from thailand 43 dollars plus the 27 so a little over 70 dollars um and then the same thing here this one's relatively like i think it's like like 50 something 55 dollars so that one's a little bit cheaper but it's also coming from thailand you got to remember that shipping time whereas those above were shipping in the usa so for me a week week and a half max shipping time this could take anywhere from two weeks to two months you know there's no guarantee and you can just look at the pricing here right and if you're like well oh those aren't just being bought they're just too expensive that's why there's so many of them okay well let's go over to the filters here so if you go to the filters on ebay um, usually they have a usually they have like filters to show like free returns returns accepted completed items and sold items so let's see let's click on like filter for only sold items and let's see how much people paid for them Okay, this one was bought for like $75 with shipping. This was a whole lot bought for $170. That's actually a pretty good deal, but $25 in shipping. So you're paying almost $200 for all these together. Um, let's keep scrolling down. So this one was bought for $29.93 from Hong Kong. So you might be only spending $30 on a Pyrus one, which is not as in demand, but you're also talking about the wait time. It could take months to get here. Um, some more lots. Here's another one sold for 70 bucks. Another one sold for 70 bucks. Another one with an offer accepted. So it was around $70. Um, now here's an example of a very rare one. Um, this is one of those examples of where you could get lucky. So this one was sold for $37.42 free shipping from Hong Kong. So that's a really good price. I would say that that's a, that's a good deal. But you got to also think about that shipping time and the condition it's in. The longer it's in shipping, the higher chance it has of getting damaged. Um, so yeah, I, I think I've kind of made my point clear here. Here's another Aquas one, 30 bucks plus shipping. So it's $50 for an Aquas one um, from Japan. So again, the prices here are relatively the same 
and you know the highest you're gonna get on a bakugan is the darkest because it's anime accurate it's the most sought after so it's gonna be the highest price so i think you guys are kind of getting like an example here is that there is a median price and you can do this with almost any bakugan so let's try it with preus so let's type in aquas preus okay and um if you guys want to see my Preus here, I'll talk about it. So this is my Preus here, right? So um, Preus here is $64.95. The evolution of them is $60. Bucks. A translucent one for $105. Um, you got a Pearl Aquas for $40. And you have a Solid Aquas B1 400 for $65 with no bids. That one looks a little fake. It looks like the discoloring is off. So again, that's why we do our research. So if you look at this Bakugan, let's take a look at the pictures on it. Okay, maybe maybe it's not. It did look in the picture. The picture is very dark. But that's why we do our research because this Bakugan looks a little discolored to me. But I could go to the wiki and check the gallery and other various Google images to see if it's actually real or not, right? So we want to make sure of that. And we also want to make sure, like, what type is it? Does it have the wheel or not? Because um, most Preuses have a attribute wheel. This one appears to not have one. And again, that's something you may want to take into consideration. Because what if you saw this and it was like 20 bucks, right? And you just immediately bought it without looking at it and it was a fake. Or it didn't have the attribute wheel like you wanted. So those things you need to be careful of. Um, so yeah, so you know, we can assume Preus sells for about $65, $70. So very similar to Knight Percival actually, but let's go to the filters really quick and take a look at what they actually sold for to see if we're like maybe getting a little bit of a, um, a little bit of like an overcharge here. Um, so let's go to filters, sold items. Let's take a look here. So this one got sold for 11 bucks, wow. <laughs> But again, it has no attribute wheel. So this is probably another interesting case. And this one's relatively recent yesterday, actually. Relatively recent. But um, as you can see here, you know, this one is 60 bucks-ish on a bid. Um, here's one for another 65. Another 65. This one looks very similar to the one we just looked at. 36 for 18 bids, but it's a B2. So you got to remember size difference. So... This one is much larger than the B1. B1s are more rare. Um, 55, best offer accepted, shipping, 1871. Uh, 46 plus shipping, 22 bids, 52, 38. So it seems like Preus sells for about $50, $60. Um, and these are all, some of these are B2. So these are all B2, so they sell for a little less. So the B1s usually sell for about 70, these sell for about 50, 55-ish. And again, you don't see as many Preus on here as you do the Knight Percival because they're more sought after by collectors. I'm hoping that I like, I'm explaining this to you guys and making it very clear about some stuff like research and, and all that and just like, what are the deals? Because by doing this process, you can kind of figure out what you're going to expect to pay on a Bakugan. Because I would say after about what six seven examples you get a pretty good median number of what you're about to spend and again that can give or take a lot more or a lot less i for example got very lucky and got my preus b1 open core um for 25 bucks so i can so i got lucky i spent 25 instead of 70 so i saved a lot of money but that doesn't happen very often you will occasionally get a good deal and let me tell you you can check all these and you can find good deals so let's see um, this Bakugan Translucent Preus Aquas B2 for 31 bucks plus shipping. So around 40, $40. That's pretty good for a Translucent. Um, that's a good deal. And you will find those on eBay. And that's why I like eBay so much. And they also accept offers. So you can get like five, ten dollars off. Um, but I want to make it very clear, um, that if you want to collect Bakugan, it can get very expensive. And... While the examples I used are relatively higher in price, just because they were more Japanese exclusive leaning, some Bakugan you can get for like $15, $10, depending on what you collect. Um, most of the time, you're not going to get an incredible deal like $25 for a Preus when it's sell for $70. Th those are pretty rare. They're not uncommon. Like, they're uncommon. Um, most of the time, you can expect to spend the price you see on eBay normally. Um, give or take a couple like ten ten dollars at the most maybe um, and of course this all depends on rarity that's why you do the research 
how hard is it to find this Bakugan? Japanese exclusives tend to be higher priced because they're more sought after, less were made, and they weren't made in the US. So they were only made in Japan, so they're harder to get, they cost more money. Um, and especially like if you're talking about show accurate attribute Bakugan and translucence, translucence were made less, so they're more rare automatically. And then the anime accurate are sought after because they're so famous from the show. So like trying to find a B1 Ventus Skyrus or a B2 Ventus Skyrus is near impossible because they're so sought after. And I think for some reason, I've, I've met a lot of people who think they can get these incredible deals and it's just impossible. You, you often aren't gonna get these super like steel deals on these Bakugan. They're collectible items now. They're turning vintage because they do not make these Bakugan anymore. They're called Legacy for a reason. They no longer make them and they're focusing on the reboot. So if you're trying to collect old Bakugan, you have to understand that most of these Bakugan were made in a set large amount and then a lot of them were thrown away by your parents when you were kids because you no longer played with them. Or they're just so, they were played with so much they were basically ruined and destroyed. Or they were just ended up being lost or broken from various other things. So they're no longer making them. So the amount that is made only gets less and less. So that value will keep going up until the community decides that they no longer want to play Bakugan anymore. So you may get a really sweet deal on a Bakugan, but what I'm trying to get at here is just don't expect to spend $100 on Bakugan and get the entire anime accurate attribute from the first season. Like, don't expect to get all of them. Don't expect to get Skyrus, Preus, Dragonoid, Tigrera, um, Hydranoid, and all of that. Don't expect to just spend $100 on these little toys right here and expect that to be it i spent tons of money on mine i don't have an exact amount but i had to spend a lot of money to get them and yeah they're cool it just make sure you have the money to spend them because in the end it would suck if you went broke um and obviously i don't think anyone wants that it's just you have to be careful and just make sure to spend your money wisely collecting is great and it's definitely super cool but do your research and be safe about it you know um, so that's kind of why I'm making this video. I hope I cleared a bunch of stuff up. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below, ask questions if I didn't answer them in this video. I'm um, just hoping to help some of you guys out because I've been getting so many different comments asking about all this kind of stuff. Um, so I just decided to like, sit down and make a video about it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.